Meet Cogwheel, the heavy metal king. A tin man with a whole lot of heart. I am not an assembly model. Cog's a pure assault roll with a truckload of high-tech war to swing the battle in your favor. Place his unique mortar, or 20, around the map to enable his special mortar volley. The launchers aren't the toughest, so keep him out of sight. His class-specific blocks are radars, respawns, landmines, and sandbags. Radars are essential for maintaining vision around your objectives and for scoping out enemy defenses. Once placed, they reveal all nearby enemies and structures in a 360-degree radius. Respawn pads give your team the ability to respawn where the block is placed. Build them in both defensive and offensive positions across the arena. Landmines are cheap and stick to any surface. Use them to protect your objectives or cover yourself while you're attacking. Sandbags are chunky, tough, and cheap. They ain't glamorous, but they're the toughest player issue block in the game. Cogwheel also has access to bricks, crates, glue, bombs, and large bombs. Cog's armed with some of the most destructive weapons on the battlefield. His primary is the rotary cannon a super-fast lead spitter that's brutal at short range. All shoot for a spray-and-pray high-damage cone of fire. The cannon fires an explosive cannonball in a ballistic arc. Right-click triggers a more personal point-blank explosion. Cogwheel's special abilities are designed to cause as much havoc as possible. Activating your special ability requires you to have built at least one mortar. So build a mortar! On hit F, Cog throws a beacon to activate the pre-built mortars. As Cog levels up, he can throw the beacon further. Cogwheel's passive ability, Heavy Metal, gives extra health and ammo on hero loot pickups. All right, let's jump into the game and take a look at this metal head in action. Cogwheel builds his mortar launchers, sets up a small wall in front for protection and concealment. Before charging into battle, he places some defensive mines and radars. Moving forward with Tony and Sarge, Cogwheel breaches the enemy's defensive wall and kills a defending Nigel with his rotary cannon. Benefiting from Tony's active ability, he quickly builds a radar to reveal enemy defenses, then strategically places a respawn pad. As the respawn pad brings more allies to the front line, Cogwheel and his team charge the base. And with the radar revealing enemy defenses, Cogwheel kills a defending Tony and deploys his mortar beacon. With the enemy defenses destroyed, they overwhelm the base and take down the cube. So, Spudball, there you have it. A big damage offensive hero. Get it on with Cog. Suck my sensor. What the Cog you gonna do? <laughs>